All right, future nurse, this is part two of my NCLEX case study on hypo versus hyperthyroidism. If you didn't see part one, go and check it out on my page now. So after completing a detailed patient history, the nurse suspects the patient to have hypothyroidism. What should the nurse anticipate the laboratory values to be? And luckily for those who are taking the new generation NCLEX, you will be given the normal ranges of the laboratory values. Now for hypothyroidism, this is gonna be very low and slow symptoms. However, the only thing that is going to be elevated is your thyroid stimulating hormone. The thyroid is part of the endocrine system and a lot of these organs function on the negative feedback loop. So you are gonna have a higher TSH in hypothyroidism. So knowing that, I'm going to immediately eliminate options B and D because B is a low TSH and D is a normal TSH. So I don't anticipate those lab values in hypothyroidism. Now T3 and T4 are going to be opposite of TSH, so they're going to be low in hypothyroidism. And if you look at option A, that is our correct answer. So teaching point for today, in hypothyroidism, we anticipate a high TSH with a low T3 and T4. And in hyperthyroidism, I anticipate a low TSH with a high T3 and T4. I hope you learned something from this. Follow my page for part three and four.